did you do that? How did you do that? Okay, today is November 21st, 2017, and it's 10.33. Um, after the gym, I went to the library, grabbed some books for my kids. My, young, my oldest took a test. Um, I don't know, his vocabulary sort of went down, so I had to do something. Um, so I stopped at the library to grab some stuff to see that could help him. But I think uh, I didn't find the type of book I was looking for. So I think what I'm going to do is that I'm going to search online like uh, words that uh, third graders should know. And then I'll make him search for the words. And so he knows what the meaning of the words are. So that way when it, he comes across them, he'll know what they mean. Because he has a... It's like it's one of those things you solve one issue because he had issues of understanding like reading comprehension. So I sort of tackled that. He did pretty well in that part. Now it's the vocabulary. I mean, they put the words in a sentence for him. I thought he will, you know, work his little brain and uh, find a way of making sense out of a, a, a word he may not know. But, I mean, he didn't do too bad, but it just went a little bit slightly lower than previous uh, tests that he took. So I had, I need to tackle that. And while at the same time, I'm trying to maintain his reading comprehension. Because he, he doesn't like to read and he had issues with that. So I sort of uh, got a hand of that, of him understanding what he reads. So I don't want that to go down. With that being said, today at the gym, um, I did legs. Um, uh, last time that I did legs, I wanted to do leg press and I wanted to do that first the last time I was at the gym and someone was using it. So I didn't do leg press. So I made sure I did leg press first. So I, I did record it the way that I did it and I'm probably going to put that like a, uh, maybe at the end of this uh, video or perhaps in another video like I usually do put my workout videos on. on. So it's, I started with the press with no weight on it. I did 10 repetition um, shoulder width uh, position on the platform and then I did 10 repetition close grip, like a close uh, stance on the platform. So and I add one plate I did the same thing with leg positions and like I ended up being 20 reps, uh, 10 uh, shoulder width and 10 uh, close. I add another plate, so that's two 45 pound plates. I did the same thing, 10 repetition shoulder width, 10 repetition close. I add another third plate, same thing, 10 repetition um, shoulder width and close grip, uh, close uh, stance. I add a fourth plate, same thing, uh, 10 repetitions, shoulder width, 10 repetitions, close uh, stance. Then I remove one plate now, Three, uh, uh, three plates on the platform, I mean on the machine. Uh, again, same thing, 10 repetition um, uh, shoulder width and 10 repetition close stance. Remove another plate, so two more plates there. I did the same thing. I remove uh, another plate, one plate left. Uh, one plate left. I did another, the same thing, 10 uh, repetition shoulder width, 10 repetition close tense and then I remove everything there's no more plates on the uh, machine I did 10 repetition uh, shoulder width 10 repetition uh, close tense and after that 
my leg was burning. The less, um, uh, how do you call it? The less, uh, the less, the less, the less, the less, uh, uh, rest you took, you take the better that way, uh, you know, that will really stimulate the leg. And after that, just remember, I have sciatic, uh, so my leg was like shaking. And I wanted to do the squat machine um, right next to it. And while I was on that uh, uh, leg press machine, somebody used it. So I ended up not uh, doing that at all. And it seemed like it was, <coughs> excuse me, a perfect excuse because my leg was shaking. And I was going to do the same thing that I just did on that machine with that leg, uh, with that uh, squat machine. But um, the way my leg was feeling, I was like, even if I, after I finished all the other ones, I didn't even bother to look if it was available because I could not do any more. So after that, I did um, uh, calf raises on, uh, on the seated one. Um, I just play around. I didn't record that. It's just I just play around with it because my leg was already pretty much <laughs> annihilated with that silly uh, um, exercise that I did on the press. So uh, I play around with it. I did one leg at a time and increased the weight and I did a couple repetitions until I got tired of it. Then I did the seated uh, hamstring curl. Again, I play with it. I start with one leg at a time and then do both legs and play around with it. Increase the weight, reduce the weight and do uh, different movements with it. And then I did the uh, uh, leg extension. Um, same thing, one leg at a time, and did couple repetition. I believe I increased it up to 110. And again, I didn't record any of that because I had I don't have any specific uh, things to do. Just do legs. And after that, I did the glute machine. I did that. I didn't even bother recording that also. And then there's this machine. I have not used it uh, yet. It has a resistance on it, and you put your leg onto a, a I, I don't know, like a, it has a, a loop. You could put your leg, so you could do some um, stuff like this, you know. So I play around with it, and I put the lightest weight. Um, right after I did that, my leg was shaking, especially the left leg. It's the left leg that was the problem. So I probably will use that machine a little bit more because of my sciatic. I need to strengthen my glutes and that machine will help. And uh, yeah, and that was about it. Um, I didn't really do anything crazy. Tomorrow I'm gonna do back. Uh, my kids have half a day and I, my oldest doesn't want me to pick him up. So my husband said go pick him up. So uh, I probably will pick him up. Um, so that's about it and uh i hope you like it and here's the video of the leg press that i did so enjoy let me know um how you like it and uh thanks for watching